Deuteronomy chapter 18. The priests, who are Levites, and the whole tribe of Levi, shall not have a portion or inheritance with the rest of Israel. They shall eat the offerings made by fire to the Lord and his inheritance. Thus, they shall not possess any inheritance among their brethren. The Lord is their inheritance, as he has promised them. And this shall be the due right of the priests from the people who offer a sacrifice, whether it is an ox or a sheep, they shall give the priest the shoulder, the two cheeks, and the stomach. You shall also give him the first fruits of your grain, your wine, and your oil, and the first shearing of your sheep. For the Lord your God has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand and minister in the name of the Lord, him and his sons forever. And if a Levite comes from any of your gates out of all Israel, where he dwells as a foreigner, and comes with all the desire of his mind to the place which the Lord chooses, then he may serve in the name of the Lord his God, as all his brethren the Levites do, who stand there before the Lord. They shall have equal portions to eat, besides what comes from the sale of his inheritance. When you enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices divination, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord, and because of these abominations the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess listen to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren. Him you shall hear. According to all you desired of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, What they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him.